Hey everybody, it's White Wolf M here. Today I'm bringing you another episode of Crazy Craft. I believe this is our fifth episode now, fourth on the new server. Wow, I'm feeling quite loud today. <laughs> and everything is purple, as always. And I have also noticed that there is a slight bit of, not lag, but low in like frames. I apologize for some reason. It's my recording software, I use Camtasia, and for some reason whenever I record Minecraft, especially Crazy Craft, it just kind of gets a little bit sort of delayed. Um, if you guys know how to, or have any recommendations to fix it, I am all ears because I am getting sick of it. Ah, especially when one of you guys pointed it out and I'm just there like, wow, cool, okay, crap didn't realise it was as bad as it was when they sort of pointed out the difference I was just like, shit. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's actually been a lot I've done in preparation for this video. There's a, oh my days, there's at least a good five or six hours minimum. Minimum! That is not including today. I did a couple of hours of work on it today as well. I forgot to add a couple of things. But the first thing that I want to show you is, I built something. And here's the little entrance, and you go down here, so it's a little secret place, and there's a door, and then there's another door, whoop, ba da 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 Right, um, this is basically my secret enchanted garden. I had this uh, suggested as an idea of a build to me by Miss Derps, or Sarah as you guys may know her, a friend of mine and I finally got round to it. <laughs> she uh, suggested it a couple of videos ago. Look at the little pools. And you may have noticed that there's an anvil and some chests here. And that is because I've decided that seems as it's a beautiful sort of secret kind of garden, what we're gonna do is, all of you subscribers out there who have left your IGNs or don't have IGNs and they haven't worked, but still want to be shown in the series, this is where you guys are going to be, and you are going to be fairies. Now I hope that's okay with you guys. <laughs> um, I couldn't think of anything like that would fit in with a secret enchanted garden as well as fairies. But we've already got some name tags. We've got Alyssa, Hatton, I think. Um, they suggested a build that I did a couple of, uh, the, the, the Alice in Wonderland, they, did a, they suggested a themed Alice in Wonderland build and Moon Knight, who didn't work originally, which I am really sorry about. So I don't know if I have to zookeeper shard them. So you guys let me know if I have to. Oh, oh God, right, uh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear, please come back. No, <laughs> there, there we go. I named her, I think, did I name her? Ah, uh, yes, all right, there we go. There's Alyssa, I've named you. Just gonna. Just gonna close this door. Um, so if I spawn you here, and then we've got, oh, Han, you were male, but you're now fairy, and I apologize if that has offended you in any way. I'm trying to do it so that they can't fly away from me. Ah, do you all look the damn same or something? Oh God, a fairy, Moon Knight, there you go, Moon Knight. So all three of you guys are now in my enchanted uh, forest. If you don't have an IGN but would like to be shown in uh, my Minecraft series in here, then just leave your like your names or a name in particular. If you don't want to leave your own name or username for a fairy, and I will put you down as a fairy in my enchanted garden. This is the only problem with the fact that there's water raging in. There we go. I fixed it. I got a piece of dirt. Gaga jar of dirt. Gaga jar of dirt. And guess what's inside it? Just so you can see, this is the outside so that we could let light in and for those of you who are not sure as to what this character is it's Unikitty so if I show you on the map you can see a little bit better so this is Unikitty so that is my secret enchanted garden so next what I'm gonna do we're gonna go visit our Easter Bunny now a lot of you were commenting about doing the uh, thing with the hopper so you can farm the egg and the fact that I didn't name it means it despawned or didn't use a zookeeper shard it despawned <laughs> just gonna just gonna say that now so in this little chest we've got a new Easter Bunny egg a name tag and a lead and the name 
came from Moon Knight, I think, and she rec suggested the name Pebble. I quite like the idea of the name, so that's what we're going to go with. So there we go, got the Easter Bunny. Now named Pebble, so now fingers crossed, you shouldn't despawn. But I have actually done the hopper thing, so if I just go and show you that, obviously we need our double door system to at least try and keep the dang rabbit in. But here, oh, and I've just collected an egg, didn't even mean to do that. These are the eggs from earlier, oh god a nightmare. Yep, okay, so it's definitely working, so that is where our eggs are. So now we've got an egg farm and you have no idea how annoying that was to uh, to sort. That's all I'm gonna say. So next what I think we should do is we should check out the subscriber room. Uh, I almost completely forgot to add a room. Uh, I've changed the carpet as you can see. I thought the sort of black kind of uh, charcoal look looked better. But here we have our new room. If you can't already guess what it is. I'm not religious. It's kind of like a church. <laughs> But the reason why I thought I'd put one in on the top floor is, well, all sort of races have their own sort of religions. So I thought, you know, putting a, a vague style church place in, it kind of adds to the effect a little bit. But in here we've got our names. Okie dokie. So the first person is Dancing YouTubers. Oh, I like your hair. It's very purple. Very similar to my current shade, actually. And um, we've got two over here. We'll do the Geek Queen, which you are fabulous, darling. <laughs> then we'll do Primed. Oh, oh my god, so cute. Child mode! Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's so cute! I need your left arm to go all the way up. Oh, so cute! There you are. Already. And here we have King Extreme. Good, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I'm more about the cute kind of look. And then at the top, got my friend, Dan. Dan Getsu. There we go. So, pfft, very interesting uh, battalion, I must say. But that is our fill for the subs next for this subscriber room. That is a tongue twister. If you've got any ideas for more suggestions for rooms that can fit with the dwarven theme then please leave them below but let us move on shall we now that isn't all that I've been doing as I did say I have been doing a lot a lot a lot of work and that's because now we have a dwarven disco room so you got your subwoofer sounds up there you got your disco floor for the oomch, oomch, oomch. and then you got up here and this is where the DJ's sort of deck is ignore that and then this is like a little stage, so like you can have live singers there instead. I finally decided what to do with it. But the second floor up, I haven't really, I haven't done anything to it. It's just still playing, because I've got an idea, but I'm not sure. But as you can see, there is now a skeleton that shouldn't be here. What are you doing here? Get out of my life. Get out of my house. Who the fuck do you think you are? Come on, pussy, get the fuck out. There we go. It's the one thing I don't like about spiral staircases I can fall. Here we go, we got a cinema! And we had the cinema suggested by Primed as well. So we got the big screen over here, we got the seats, got the carpet here, we've got the toilets. This is obviously where they play the films. I'm, I want, I'm not sure what to put in there, so if you've got any suggestions of how to fill out that room more to look like the inside of where they play the films, then let me know. But over here we've got the snack stand. Bunny snack stop, food and drink at competitive prices. Oops, excuse me. So we've got food, sweets, and drink. This is where the forms of payment are. So D is diamond, G is like the gold nugget, and E is the emerald. Obviously you can go behind if you want. This is where all the snacks are, all the foods. This is where all the popcorn is. You've got your cake, your brewing stands, and in there are all your drinks. Also, if the audio sounds a little bit off or you can hear the background noise, um, my full apologies. I've recently replaced my monitor so I've got a professional, like a proper monitor instead of using a TV as a monitor and I have to say, my eyes don't hurt as much as anymore. <laughs> but because I've moved my mic around, it's a tiny bit closer to the tower, uh, like less than like five inches, but anyway, this is the under construction area. I've yet to carry on working with this. I've just had to build a staircase so I could see where I could carry on for this, but that is the next floor. Uh, so if you've got any suggestions of what I could turn that into, 
again please leave everything below if there's anything you want to see me build or any themes that you want me to build then that would be wicked if you could leave those below and I will do them for you next time. I could have sworn that I've done more than this. It feels like I've I've not shown you everything but I'm pretty sure I have. This is one other thing that I just wanted to show you. As you can see on the map and here it's just a big stone sort of encasing. However, there are things inside of it and they're not ready for yourselves or for my fellow members of Crazy Craft to see or know what it is yet. However, you'll know very, 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 very soon. I started construction night yesterday. That's one of the things that took me so long finding things to do with it. So that is the other thing that is going to take Oh my god, sure dong. Why is there a chest down there? So there was a tree, and we now have a snow golem pit. I've also leveled this area off, because I'm going to build a farm. And I'm also going to build a sh stable. A stable, a very big stable for horses and cows and pigs. And that is my idea for the next episode. Um, just let me know what you guys think about that suggestion in the comments below if you'd like to see that. Obviously I won't show you building the uh, barn itself, but let me know if you want that in an episode and then we can go and collect the animals. For now, we're going to go and put our new pet in the wall of pets. I don't think we've got a snow golem. Anyway, let's just quickly double check. Do we have a snow golem? No, we don't. We have an iron, but not a snow. Yay! We're ever so close. I don't actually know how many pets there are. There, It looks like there's about 31 pets or so. Uh, and we've currently got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're nearly, we're like literally like one or two, because it's on an uneven number, off getting halfway there. So we're half there with our pets, and obviously we're only one out of loads for the backpacks. Um, we're, we're going to have a proper backpacky kind of day, but I will need to sort of pre-make loads of backpacks ready. But I want to do all that kind of stuff sort of properly instead of like creative mode them in. Part of today's episode, oh good lord, the lag, the lag, the lag. It's because there's so much stuff over here. I think it was all that candy block. In here, uh, my magical tree that you know of, I was asked to build, or suggested to build, shall we say, uh, to build a alchemy room. So what I've done is, inside the tree, I've decided that everything sort of witchy and alchemy wise that I'm going to do, is all going to be inside this tree. At the minute, there's only two levels. It goes up a lot more. There's at least another good four or five levels. But I thought two would do us all right for the time being. So what we're going to do today is we're going to fill out the alchemy room. So we actually already have a book. It's a book on witchcraft. So this was given to us when we did our little adventure over there. And here we have uh, just loads of information, I guess. I haven't actually looked at this yet. I was waiting uh, for you guys. Oh my, this is a very sort of... What? Can you actually do all this? Good lord. It's proper, like, loads of stuff. Well, all I know is, pff, we don't need that yet, but the first thing I think that we should do is get an enchanting table. I know that's not necessarily, like, witchcraft, but I think for the first level it'd be quite good for us to do. So it's four blocks of obsidian, a book, and two pieces of diamond. I know that we don't have any obsidian. How many diamonds do we have? Oh, I hate the fact that when you typed... Okay, so we, we do have enough. So all we need to do is go on an obsidian hunt, basically. This is gonna be fun, yay. I'm trying to think of like a cave, but here's a little secret for you guys. I do actually have a couple of cave systems actually within my giant cave that sort of connected. So I'm thinking of maybe going into one of those and then giving it a try. So now you guys finally know what this is. It looks like it goes down to a cave. I haven't explored it. I thought I'd wait for you guys. Um, oh. Oh. 
Ah, oh, okay, so there is a cave. Ooh, what's this? Poor copper ore. Uh, would you make me some? No! Well, I've got unlimited cobblestone. That isn't what I want. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. What the frick is that? Lightning stone. Ooh, and what is this? I'm sorry, I'm finding like loads of resources I've never come across before, so I'm getting really excited. <laughs> Bronze ore. Ooh. What? 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 That says baby weeping angel. Can I not kill it? This is most disturbing. I'm not allowed to kill it. And I'm very scared right now in case I die. Oh! Is that real or fake? Fake. Oh, fuck me, it's real. Yay! Well, it turns out that those two diamonds we needed. Oh. I thought that was something to do with the angels then. Good mercy! What's that? What is that? Oh my days, it's so pretty. A lightning, more lightning. I don't know what that is. I'm too excited. Too much new ore. Sapphire. Ooh, Energon crystal. Is this fucking robotics or some shit? There we go. Got a bucket so I can pick up some water to pour it on some lava so that we can get obsidian. This is going to take much longer than I anticipated. Way! <gasps> you are rubies! You are fucking beautiful! I want you all in my backpack. I went to say mouth and I don't know why. So don't question it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go away. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fantastic! Oh, uh, I have water here. I don't want to turn all of it into a... Then again, it would just be... What? 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 Let's try that again. Ugh, I'm beyond caring anymore. We're digging down. We're going for it. Because I'm fed up. <laughs> to be just brutally honest. If I hit bedrock, then I'll look around. Right, there's got to be some lava around here somewhere. What's this? What on earth is that? That's not ruby. Can I have some lava, please? I don't want a cave, I just want lava. You don't have to have lava for a cave for lava. How do you like being poisoned? Oh, stop! was blown up by a spider. I don't quite think I was blown up, but... I can't remember how many pieces of obsidian it was now. I think it was four pieces, was it? Oh, good lord, this is going to take a million years. I don't understand why my adventure backpack isn't... No, wait! We have enough! We have enough! We just about have enough. Um, so it was... like that. I haven't got a fucking book. Oh god, no. Cool. And then we'll put two pieces of leather there. So we've got two books. So we've got a book, four pieces of obsidian, and two pieces of diamond to make an enchanting table. Right, so we've got an enchanting table at last. I know you can't do a fat lot with them without all the proper books, but we will do that, don't worry. Is that where I want it? Or do I want it there? I don't want it there, I want it to the right. I'll have that there. And we can put books up around it, kinda. I must acquire your hat, I'm very sorry. We've got the leprechaun hat. And there is a spider. I feel quite bad. All I've really done this episode is show you stuff. I haven't really like done anything properly with you guys. Okay, so for a bookcase you just need oak wood planks and oak wood slabs. So we can definitely do that. Let's go and at least make a couple of bookshelves. Wait. Will this actually work? Will that actually work? I think I've made the wrong kind of bookcase. Wouldn't surprise me a little bit. And if I have, oh well. We'll sort it out another time. But as you guys can see, that is going to be the witchcraft sort of alchemy area. But that's it for today's episode, guys. 
Let me know what you thought of it and what you think of my ideas for the next episode. Leave your information down below your IGNs or names if you want to be in the uh, Enchanted Garden or in the Dwarven subscriber route. Like, all of my social medias are below also and I am very active, especially on Twitter and Snapchat if you want to keep in contact with me. And I will talk to you all again very, very soon. Bye! I said yes. And uh, gave him a book. And then he gave me a little kiss on the lips. And I'm still with him now. Nearly seven years on. So that was my first kiss. And that was when my first kiss was. <laughs> what is your favourite food?